I mean, this epic anime, man. It's a constant surprise of the year, like, in the sense how much I've actually enjoyed it. And I actually now found out getting the Bucci's on season two, and I'm just like... I was like, Bones, you're doing it, but you're letting the wrong guy on. Like, you don't let Genny Ibuchi in your anime. He will destroy your characters. I will see my best girl, Kiko, dead in two episodes, and I don't want that to happen. Genny Ibuchi kills characters. He ain't a good man. And if you know Madoka Magic, you know what I'm talking about. Genny Ibuchi murders your favorite characters in, like, one episode. But, no. Then this episode kind of was a tiny bit confusing in the sense it kind of just, like, dropped all these plots on you. Like, whoa, mate, okay. But it, it, it felt overwhelming to this, in a sense that it's this narrative as a whole is it's quite overwhelming. So, as a whole, you kind of just realise in this episode, you're just taking in what's going on. You're like, at this point, I'm never an episode's in, episode 12's next week, do I really need to, do I really need to, like, understand what's going on? Yes, you do, but you're kind of sitting there wondering, is like, I just gotta take it now. It's got all just like an edgy anime, an edgy harem anime, and that guy's an arsehole that went past my door. That's an edgy harem anime. You sort of just, after a while, you, after a while, you take the tropes in, and you sort of just went, yeah, accept it now. And this anime's like that. You kind of accept what the hell's going on for what it is, because it's just an, it's, it's, it's an easy anime to comprehend if you're paying attention, but if you're not, you lose a minute detail, you lose everything, you lose the whole meaning of the episode completely. I'm guessing, as a whole, this episode kind of meant that even all humanity is kind of evil, in a way, like, not everyone is good, like, even the ones you think are good are bad, in that sense, because we meet Claude, Claude is basically, I don't know, he's the cool guy of the series, like, he was, in, he was introduced in one episode, I kind of like him a lot now, he was like, he was one episode and I was like, I like you. You seem pretty cool. And then, yeah, he kind of has this su suede mentality in life. He kind of just goes, I fight for justice, peace, and thing. And then five minutes down the line, you see him murdering a bunch of people, and he does it for justice. You're kind of, like, wondering, is it, though? It kind of questions your morality slightly. And then you find that Kiko has a demon form. I was kind of like, huh? Well, I guess Ulu, uh, Ulu, Ulu, how do you pronounce that guy's name? Ulu? I think it's U double L R. I can't pronounce the guy's name. Ulu. Basically, he told Emmy that he was actually she's actually a, like a devil demon kind of thing that she makes contracts, takes their powers. So she's the she's a devil rather than she's a witch. So she's actually a devil queen rather than she's the, she's the witch queen. Queen. Ow, my brain just had an aneurysm just then. But yeah. So yeah, that happens, and you're kind of like, okay, I get it. I had to read into this because I had to, re I had to refresh my mind half the plot points of having this anime just to actually comprehend the episode. But then, when you realise it makes all makes perfect sense, and then she make she turns into a really really hot like kind of demon queen thing, and you kind of like, I accept that. It's like Kiko's best girl, so I accept it, and she's kind of just like, what have you done, this man? What are you doing with your life? And he's all like, mate, doing it for justice. And it sort of just ends it there. And then, yeah, she turns back into a normal human being, and then that's the end of the episode. I was kind of like, DF, man, what was that? You kind of just realize, you kind of just sit in here wondering, maybe Genu, if you had Genu Ibuchi and you had David Lynch in his anime, you'd probably have the best anime ever created, because at the moment, they're, pro they're practically in there. But no, I mean, as a whole, this anime is so surprising, it's just, like, it's, it's creeping into my top ten of the year, like, slowly but surely. My eyes not itchy. It does actually get into my top ten, my top five almost. I haven't realised what my top five animes of the year are. That's got to sit down, rest of my week, and figure out what the anime of the year, or not the anime of the year is, what my top ten are. It's definitely in there. But yeah, I mean, it's just so many plots, but it's so freaking cool. Like it's just, it's so original that I love it. It's one of those. It's just one of those animes sort of like. Yeah, I like anime. You, and then the guy just like, oh, like Attack on Titan. And he's like, no, Concrete Revolution. And you're sort of like, what the hell are you talking about? So just get out of it. He's all like, yeah, mate. Just get out of it. So yeah, it's sort of just, it's like it's like saying to your friends, you like Valkyrie Dive Mermaid. You don't say it to your friends, you like Valkyrie Dive Mermaid. This one you do, but then when you when they watch, you're like, you were in some weird beat, yo. And I, it's kind of it's exactly the same with that. It's just... It's just one of those unaccessible animes, and if you understand it, you're, you're basically Jesus Christ of anime. You just kind of get it. You just, you just, it's just, you just get it. So it's kind of that kind of thing that it's it's not accessible anime by any means, shape, or form. But if you know how to get past the amount of plot that's in the anime, the amount of 
characters <laughs> doing a goddamn anime, the amount to keep up with all the plot points, you actually find yourself a really good anime. Like, it's in here. It's just, it's buried beneath about a 10 billion plot points that you have to actually remember to actually get your head past this whole anime, because it does get overwhelming. I've had this. This was overwhelming. Claude is basically the brother of Jiro. Like, I'm guessing it was kind of explained, but I might be wrong. And then, yeah, so, and she, and then, and then Kiko already knows about the, about the family even before meeting Jiro. So that kind of then confuses me if, if, if Kiko has an ulterior motive all along and we've been completely had this whole time, like in a sense she's actually evil, not a good person. I don't know, because she has an evil side apparently. So that's kind of the main thing, is an evil side. Which then makes you realise and hypothesise, maybe she's not a good person. Maybe she's an interior motive. Maybe she's not in love with Jiro. That kind of depresses me. But I don't know because she seems like she's completely normal when she get. But then she eats the f garlic clove thing sprout and comes to the devil. Kind of becomes a devil. I'm just kind of like, at this point, go for it, girl. You do it. You show the man. And then she sort of changes after that complete, but she goes, I, I'm guessing she has a bipolar disorder kind of thing going on. It just comes in randomly and she's all like, well, got to do it now. And then it just carries on like that. I don't know. It seems like it is because it, go it goes down that route. It kind of explains it because it doesn't explain it, but it kind of, it tells its, it tells its story through visuals where it says its story through f f themes and stuff like that. The themes are present. The story itself is, is incoherent sometimes. Like it's apparently my most incoherent anime. <laughs> I've probably watched how much Evan Gelly about through about four times, and then yeah, you got the whole thing. It's just maybe to calm down in season two because when getting the Bucci coming on as guest writer, it might just calm the events down slightly, and it might just increase the body count a bit more. Like in a sense, it just might have more death, a lot more, and a lot more mummy getting completely head bitten off by a massive alien thing. But yeah, with all that said. I've been rambling on a bit too long for this anime because it's one of those ones I have to like, I have to get my thoughts down. It's one of those animes. But with what I said, happy to drive it. If you do enjoy the content, do leave a like. Don't, if you enjoy my content as a whole, do leave a sub. There's something quite a bit. But with what I said, happy to drive it. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.